Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over Q3 of the weekly contest 369. Minimum incremental operations to make a way. Build a beautiful. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem. So, this one, the way that I thought of it is actually. Um, uh, so, there are a couple of things, right? Let me, let me start by saying that uh, this three or more. It, it it's limited by the three part, right? Because you're taking the max element. So the three or more doesn't actually matter. Uh, it's the, only the three that matters, right? Because for every three uh, sub array, you need one element that's K or greater. Otherwise, you have no go. After that, then the way that I visualized it, even though I, it took me a while to kind of finish it up, is just, uh, I think the problem house robber or something like this um on need code i only remember this because they keep on giving this during the daily problems uh but basically the house robber is that you have to rob certain number of houses uh and in that particular case you cannot um you cannot look at like neighbors or something like this um uh, some variation of that and in this one um basically that's the same idea right because if you quote unquote rob an uh, rob an element um there's no because we're minimizing we there's no reason for you to uh rob you know the next uh houses or whatever right or the next two houses and two before so that's basically the idea um and then the cost of it of course is the cost it takes to get to k um meaning it could also be zero non negative and that's pretty much the idea so um, so I, I did it with memorization, um, and the way I did, and we'll skip this for a second, but the idea here is that, okay, um, index is basically, I mean, that should be okay, to, so to n, it is the house, we're, uh, house, but yeah, the, the element that we're considering now, right, and then three is, we can choose to, uh, take this element or not right now. Uh, or wait, free is free is the number of free options that you get. And what I mean by that is that um, what I mean by that is that you could take this element, or if you don't, then you have one gap farther away from the last time that you have a max element. So free is maybe another way of phrasing it is. Uh, the the number of space. Let me write it down as well. The uh, the number of spaces since the last uh, ma uh, max element greater or equal to k, right? So that's basically what the free goes. And yeah, um, yeah. I, I I wrote it this way, but now now that I think about it, I could actually rewrite this a little bit as well. As but we'll go over it now. Uh, quickly is that. Like we said, it's similar to house robbers. So we can rob a house for free. Um, cause it, and actually, technically, I guess, I guess uh, this would just be negative if this was the case. So I didn't even need to separate rate these out. Because uh, if nums is less than k, wait, what? Uh, it would just be negative or something like this. Well, hmm, is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If nums is greater than k, so we could actually even just delete this for confusion. I did it during the contest because I wasn't really thinking about it. But yeah, um, but basically, this is taking the the current thing, and when we take it, then we, we're basically given two spaces of freedom in the future, right? And here, um, yeah, this is the cost that they tell you, and if nums is greater than k, then it's just zero, and this is, I even wrote that part in, so. And then otherwise, we can choose to skip if we have a free thing to skip, and that's basically it. And yeah, um, we do two operations. What is the complexity, right? Index is 0 to n, free is 0 to 2. So this is going to be, uh, uh, yeah, O of n time, O of n space, right? And the way that I did it during the contest was just saying that um, we have to choose either 0, the first one, or the second one with no freedom left. Um, basically, we have to choose one of the first three to kind of get the beginning part out of the way, right? Um, but I think you can actually just do this as well, uh, and that would basically be the same thing because you can, at I, I, every step, we can choose to take the first one or the second one, or the, or if we don't, then we have to choose the third one. Um, let me just like 
uh, oh, the contest is still going on, I guess. I didn't even realize. I haven't, I'm still recording during the virtual contest. Yeah, so this is actually good as well. Um, yeah, but and with the same complexity. I mean, either way, it doesn't really matter. It 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 basically does or should do the same thing. So yeah, um, yeah. Um, that's all I have for this one. Linear time, linear space. Let me know what you think. How's Wabu's or something? If uh, you want to work on a similar but different problem. Um, yeah, stay good, stay healthy, and you can watch me solve it live in the contest next. And you could even see the, the place where I was getting confused a little bit. But yeah, one YOLO. Okay, that that, that one is harder than I think. I, I, mean, I feel like I'm a little bit luckier on that one. But okay. Um... Choose an i in any number and then increase it by one. Okay. Any subarray three or more, its maximum is greater than or equal to k. <clears throat> three or more, huh? What does three or more mean? Oh, so okay, it's three or longer, but three is still true. So the three or the more part means nothing. It's just the size three. All right, so okay, so we're just sliding windows, right? Um and you're forced basically, so okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, minus two maybe. All right, so Basically, current is to go to max. Um, which one do we want to add? Can we do greedy or do we do DP? I thought it was going to be greedy actually, but now that I think about it, I'm not so certain. It should be DP actually. Um, DP is not that bad. Uh, I'm, I don't know if this is. I, I'm gonna do it recursively. I'm not confident about it, to be honest. Uh, yeah, because leak code is always silly with recursions. Um, but this is just like I don't know. Return zero. Otherwise. Um, we basically if num sub index okay, best is even infinity, say if this number is already bigger than k, then we're Gucci until index plus two or something, right? So if this number, then we could one two so then the third number we have to care about okay otherwise if it's smaller then we can also just do this but plus the delta between k minus num sub index we want this to be at most zero of course Oh, at least zero. Um, otherwise, we skip, right? If we skip, what does that mean? I guess uh, you have to add an index thing. Um, so, like, need uh, or something, right? I'm really slow on this one. I feel like I should know this one uh, a little bit better. So okay, do, 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 do. and then now this is so, so okay. If the current one is good, then you, you, okay. This gives us three of 
So now instead of this, we do index plus one. Um, that means that now we have two free slots that we can skip, right? Okay, yeah. The same thing. Or we burn one of those free slots. Three minus one. And we just return press. And now we return go index zero. Oh. Zero zero because we have zero three. Um, I think maybe this is right. Don't know. Five seven zero is really wrong. Um, so k is equal to four. We do a four here and a four here. Okay, we're really wrong, huh? Oh, I don't think I do this one correctly because zero, because we forced to do zero on the first one, right? Can we do negative? Because basically, yeah, sorry about the siren. Well, I mean, I can do anything about it. It's very loud here, actually, but. Okay, how do we do the skip ahead? I think the skip ahead is that we either do this. Uh, and then one of zero. So we have to do one of these. I think that would be good. Uh, we might have to change the... Yeah, okay, at least three. So this should be good. Yolo submit. Okay. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this prom, this contest, everything in between. Stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.